Welcome back to Julia, Among the Stars. There's one more datapad to read in this station, at least that I've seen so far, so let's go ahead and see what is up with Scott White. He's a lieutenant in the military department. Alright, the 23rd, that's when they first arrived on this planet, Xenophon. Everybody was told to keep writing our daily records. I guess the captain just wants to keep our morale up, but after Ambrosia and subsequent events, our expedition can't possibly be a much bigger failure. His orders have resulted in one cryo jailed, one MIA, 12 dead, and only 7 of us still here. How is he ever going to explain that? Today was uneventful, apart from the fact that we are not feeling well. I think that the last month was just too much, and none of us were prepared to endure such stress. I'm really glad we have Julia on board, because the ship's computer is optimistic and always boosting our mood. She let me watch some of my beloved childhood cartoons last night. Scary how well she knows me. Or is it just listed in my personal data? Either way, these little things are what keep me going. Okay, hold on, this is interesting. See, I thought from every report that I've read, I believe they arrived on the 23rd and then on the 24th is when they first started reporting symptoms. But he says... Today was uneventful apart from the fact that we we're not feeling well. Now maybe that is just because of everything that's happened before, but it sounds like perhaps I even started feeling symptoms on the very first day. Because the 23rd is when they arrived, right? 23rd, we finally landed on this rock, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure if the exact date of that is actually going to matter, but who knows, maybe it will. Not much to do here. This planet is terribly boring. I heard that this was supposed to be our primary target, but in comparison to Ambrosia and Zenobia, this place is a wasteland. I was sparring with Pavel today. He's an extremely talented fighter, but it's obvious that the expedition has taken a lot from him. He seems to be losing the incredible energy he had at the beginning. And nonetheless, I can't believe it's impossible to pull a good lever on him. Always amazes me how he gets away. We've decided to spar often to kill time. It's unlikely we will get any real task, and if anyone can benefit from this place, it's maybe only Barth, though he doesn't look terribly interested either. Pavel was unable to spar today. Something is in the air, or we've eaten something bad. It looks like the entire crew is poisoned. Cynthia told me that she believes there's some kind of virus flying around, but Julia's analysis results were all negative. I noticed a red color on her skin, as if she had a sunburn, and she also complained about heavy stomach cramps. Strangely enough, Lai was complaining about the very same thing. Lai is getting worse. She asked me to help her, as she was unable to get into her dorm. I carried her in there, and brought her some nutrients. She was very thankful, and I suspected that she fears she will die soon. I comforted her, and told her that it's just stress, and she will soon be alright. But then she showed me how her, how her hair is falling out in large clumps. What the hell is this? I've never heard about anything like it, and I wonder if there is some untraceable alien illness involved. Lai has died. I'm not sure what to think about that. She was always so nice to everyone here. Why her? I got information that her samples were sent up to Julia, and not even our advanced probes laboratory can find anything. Today I don't feel well, but it's nothing in comparison with how Lai must have felt in her last hours. We've been ordered on a strict nutrient-only diet to prevent possible poisoning. I've spent the evening with Cynthia, who believes the captain is behind this strange sickness. She's just paranoid, but I lent her my card so she can snoop about if she wants to. There's nothing she can find in our dorm anyway, so there's no harm in it. It's interesting, he uh... I suppose rather smartly left out the part where he only gave her his card because she slept with him. I suppose that wouldn't look good in his records, would it? Nah, it's probably not something you want to write down. Everyone is feeling quite sick. 
I tried to spar once again with Pavel, but we were so exhausted there was no reason to continue. I've noticed that the crew, or what remains of us, has split into factions fighting each other. I want to stay away from this insanity as much as possible. Captain Lark escalated his long-standing conflict with Cynthia by publicly blaming her for poisoning us. One of his proofs was that he found out that she had been, been in our dorm. I wanted to say something in her defense, but Cynthia didn't let me. Is she going to just accept such a mental beating? Pavel blames the captain for not solving the situation, and that was basically the end of our meeting today. Alex has died today. Another great friend of mine is now a victim of this failed mission. I spent the night with Cynthia again. She was talking about her childhood and about Rachel. I don't understand why Rachel was cryo-jailed either, and ironically, she would be the only one who could get us out of here. We're really getting sick now, and I won't be able to last much longer if we don't find the cure. Wait, 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 hold on. Talking about Rachel. I don't understand why Rachel was cryo-jailed either, and ironically, she would be the only one who could get us out of here. This seems important. Finding out why she was cryo-jailed. I mean, I'm making a lot of assumptions here, but let's, let's make one assumption. Julia is either... malfunctioning... or... doing this stuff on purpose, right? Either there's something simply wrong with her, and she she doesn't maybe she doesn't even know it's happening, or she's doing this on purpose, messing up the laboratory results, something like that. I don't know if that's true. That's an assumption. Seems quite likely. If that's true, I wonder if she could have been behind Rachel getting cryo jailed. If she wanted this to happen. It would make sense that she would try to take out the only person that could actually really save them, right? Hmm. He killed Cynthia. I can't believe he's that insane. That's it for me. I became quite close to her these last days, and I know she was innocent. She would never have lied to me. Alright, hold on. 31st. Just wanna look at the dates. 31st. I think all of our problems are finally solved, and I'm sure that our luck will change for the better. Yep. Yep. I've spent the last three days doing nothing but mundane things. I've been thinking a lot about Cynthia. And now I understand that we are all going to die here. I feel much worse, and I know I have finally caught the sickness too. It became obvious that killing Cynthia solved nothing. Nobody's allowed to talk about that, as if it would matter anyway. Today, I coughed up a lot of blood. Will I survive the night? Up until today, we had only... We had only one chance to survive. Return to the probe. But for some reason, Captain Lark wouldn't allow it. Now we will never get back, because Barth Krylov destroyed the hovercraft. He's going to die very soon, and probably just didn't want anyone else to survive. Pavel wanted to kill him, but I talked him out of it. There's no point. Not now. Without the Captain's clearance code, we would never get on board Julia, and I know how close he is to Barth. Barth has died. No one is left but Captain Lark, Pavel, and me. There's not much we can do. Except die. The 37th. Let's see. Hold on, there's somewhere in here where he said he was going to deal with Scott soon, right?
Where was that? Where did it say that? Somewhere Andrew Lark was talking about how he's going to deal with Scott later, right? Mm, I don't see it. Oh yeah, here we go. I will send Scott to patrol the perimeter and deal with him later. That was on the 38th. The last entry from Scott White was on the 37th. What do you know? Although, given that Lark is here dead, maybe he did not succeed in killing Scott White. Perhaps Scott White killed him. Um, whose finger whose fingerprints were found on the laser gun? I remember. It wasn't just Lark's fingerprints, right? There was biological stuff from someone else. Um, can I see it again? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Look at this. This is it for the laser gun? Prevailing match with Andrew Lark. Traces of Scott White's fingerprints can be detected as well. And it sounds like Andrew Lark was going to kill him on the 28th. That's when he talked about sending him on the perimeter and dealing with him later, and the last entry from Scott White was on the 27th. And here he is dead. I think Scott White actually... killed Lark. In self-defense. Huh. Alright. So we still have this mindomatic thing that I need to figure out exactly what this is about and explore it a bit. So disaster on Xenophon. All right, I'm gonna mess around with this for a bit, and I will be right back. Okay, well here's what I have so far. I'm a little bit confused about what this is really supposed to be doing, or I guess more specifically how this actually works. So here's the help thing explaining how it works. These thought cards are correctly placed, so these things are the thought cards. Drag and drop them to their logical slots, whatever that means. Invalid thought cards go here. And that's it. So... Um... Yeah. As far as I can surmise, based on the fact that the, def the default state of these thought cards has the the purple ones in, this, in the center, the blue ones up top, and then the like dark blue ones below. I'm thinking that that's how they're all supposed to be set up, right? Like this this thing did that thing to this thing. Probe stopped responding. That sort of a thing. I think that's how they're supposed to be set up. I think. This little guide here is extremely unhelpful. Um, but here's what I don't get is what actually happens. I believe it says, um, yeah, this interface helps you figure out the correct sequence of events. While it's entirely optional, you can use it to validate your thoughts. Okay, so how does it validate my thoughts? Like, if I get every single one correctly, does it do something? I mean, so far I've put these in and these are correct, but nothing's happened. Like, it hasn't gone ding, 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 you have it correct. It hasn't done anything. It's given me no feedback whatsoever. So I don't know if, it's, if this is just for my own use, or if I get all of these right, something happens, or what. I, I don't know. It's very confusing exactly how this is supposed to work. Um, I have been filling it out with accurate things, but it needs to be filled in with some more things. So this is, I mean, they did land on Xenophon, and then Lai Zhang was the first to die, Alex Hankley was, uh, Hinkley was the next to die, Andrew Lark killed Cynthia, and Barth was the last one to die. Well, not quite, actually. He was the last one to die on record, but we do know that Andrew Lark was shot by Scott White, which I believe is the one I can actually put up here. Yeah, Andrew Lark shot by... Yeah, Scott White. 
So that'd be one of them too, but I need to fill this out with some other stuff like the probe stop respawning and things of that nature. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna come back to that later. So let's see, we need to build the scanner and get get the hell out of this place. Um, how do I go back? This? There we go. Alright, so I believe I need to manufacture it in the workbench. A high-range solar system scanner allows the probe to discover all the major celestial bodies in the solar system. Launch upgrade interface! Minigame? Oh yeah, minigame. To repair each circuit, you have to first study the blueprint to understand what needs to be done. As soon as you understand the goal, proceed according to the, wor the following workflow. Uh... This seems complicated. Select the tile from the palette by clicking it. Okay. Click the grid. Okay. Mm-hmm. Rotate. Okay. Alright, it's... Oh, God. There's more. <laughs> There's two different types of tiles. Functional tiles and connectors. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Connectors, however, however, will differ from the blueprint, and you'll have to come up with a way to assemble a circuit with a different set of them. Gotcha. Alright, that, that probably makes it seem harder than it actually is. So, let's see. So I need to place these things in here, these are connectors. Uh, so it looks like I actually only have one type of connector, right? Functional, functional, functional. Connect yeah, I've only got one type of connector. Okay. So... Do something like that, and we can rotate it, so I need... He's there, I need one here. One, two, three, four. One, two. Um, one, two. Squiggly Majig goes here. Okay, and now we just need to connect it, right? Oh, of course I probably I'm probably gonna want to rotate these, I suppose. And everything's ruined. Mm, let's see. Uh, we're gonna want to go from here. Uh, no, we're gonna no. Oh, shit, no. Put it back. Okay. Um. I'm not sure if I need to have them connected, like... Do they just need to all be connected? And it doesn't matter if they kind of connect in the same way? In other words, do I have to have this connect to here? Like it shows here? Or could I have this, like, squiggle all around and just connect somewhere else. I guess we're about to find out. Unless I can easily figure that out from here. There's a lot of text here, though. Hmm, these are identical. Their count, uh, so connectors, count, or type doesn't matter as long as the functional tiles are connected. Not quite sure about this one. Functional tiles are key components of the circuit. All functional circuits must be connected together by connectors according to the blueprint. So it sounds like these do have to actually be set up this way. Well, no. Well, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna mess around with this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm about to test my hypothesis. Because if I place the uh, the functional components exactly where they, where they are in the blueprint, then I can't actually connect them 
properly. I'm st even after reading this a couple times, I'm still really not sure if my hypothesis is correct, but my idea is that it doesn't actually matter in which way you place these. They don't have to look exactly like what's on the blueprint, so long as you have them in the correct order. In other words, you start from here, on the left, and then you have three of these things chained up, which is the case, and then one of these things, and then one of these things, and then it connects to the end. So even though it doesn't exactly match, it is set up in that way. Hopefully it's fine. That's it. I did it. Okay. Yay! Things. Ooh, we get to look at some planets. Yeah, I think those puzzles are actually fine. I mean, they're kind of fun to solve. Once I looked past the very, very confusing description and actually figured out what I'm, what it's actually asking of me. Uh, yeah. The puzzle? Good. Description of the puzzle? Not so good. Alright, where's Xenophon? Oh, there it is. Man, there's a lot of, a lot of planets here. Do I get to visit all of them? That seems unlikely. Not been scanned. Oh. Did we just scan it? Oh no, it's just because I was mousing over this, so if I don't mouse over it, it actually tells me some info. No moons. No moons. Lame. Zenobia. That was one of the places we visited. Okay. Uh, actually, can we scan it? Oh, we're, we're actually going there? Holy crap. Rachel, do you remember how I told you that my memory blocks were partially erased? Yeah, what about it? Well, I might have just discovered some memory clusters which contain backup data. I'm not sure if we can recover them. And I guess you want me to do the dirty work, right? Let me show you what I have. Okay, so what do we have in here? I've created a visualization of the memory clusters based upon the timeline of our expedition. Those clusters should be easy for you to piece together. The result should look like meaningful images to you. It doesn't look that complicated. Why don't you do it yourself? I lack your imagination skills. <laughs> for me, all visual combinations look the same. I've just grouped them together based upon cluster modification time. I can, however, detect if the final pattern matches and lock it so you won't have to worry about that anymore. I'll give it a shot. I believe all of that dialogue amounts to insert flimsy excuses for minigames. Alright, um... How do I move these? Click on the tile to select it, click on another, another tile to swap places, use right-click or buttons for swapping tile for clusters. Oh, so this is the one I have selected, right? Yeah, okay. I see. Swapping tile through clusters. Whoa. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, let's see. Getting places. Going places with this. Mm. Oh, crap, no. There we go, okay. Uh, yep, that looks correct. the front of this thing, which... Oh, looks like this is a piece of it, so let's uh, do that. Actually, no, that's not a piece of it, is it? No, it's not. That's a piece of it, though. Wait. 
Yeah, no, that is a piece of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, two pieces to go. Let's look around for it. It's a little bit hard to tell which one I actually have selected here. Alright, top right. Alright, that's one of the pieces. That is not where it goes. There we go. One piece left. Looks like that's the one. Bingo! Alright, so these should go faster and faster as we go on. Uh, let's do the planet one, because that seems easy-ish. So it looks like it's the ship in front of the planet, I think. There's a planet in the background, there's a ship. Ooh, there we go. There's something. Some ship action going on. Uh, looks like... There's a tile. Yep, there we go. Alright, looking for a dark planet piece. Looks like it's probably... This one. Yep. Ooh, that one also fits. Cool, cool, cool. Mm, is this part of it? I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so we should have a little bit of this fin coming up somewhere in one of these pictures. Where? Where are you, fin? Oh, here it is. Top left. Perfect, one more. Oh, wait, no, two more. What am I talking about? That seems too bright. No, that's not right either. Ooh, yeah, that's the the front. That's the front of it, bottom left. Unless that's what I had in there before, is it? Maybe it is. Okay, you should have a tiny corner of the ship in the top right somewhere. Ooh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, I swapped that out before, didn't I? Okay, now there is actually one more. Seems like it's this, but that seems too bright. Maybe it's not. I think I fucked up somehow. What did I do? There we go. Okay, yep, got that one. Okay, which one next? Uh, looks like we have a picture of a ship in front of a white planet. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like that's part of it. Where does that go? Ooh. Yeah, it looks like that's the solar panels continuing. Looks about right. Oh. That, uh, does that connect? That doesn't seem right. No, that can't be right. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That doesn't make any sense. Um, hmm. Yeah, those connect. This doesn't seem right. These are right, obviously. That doesn't seem right either. There we go, that's right. But what about this? I mean, these are two ship bodies, right? So are these different pictures? Or... Oh! Oh, there we go. Now it makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Alright, these probably go up. There we 
Let's go. Yep, coming together. Coming together. Uh, top right. Let's grab that. There we go. Two more to go. We need one solar panel. There we go. Um, middle one, middle right. Where's the final piece? Bottom left. There we go. Alright, these should be super fast. Only two more memory blocks left. Go almost there. That doesn't seem like it's part of it. Oh no, it is. Okay, there's two crafts there. Final one is in the middle. Or not. Wait a minute. Where'd... Wait, what goes down there? Uh. There we go. Now it makes more sense. And this one should be super easy. Got a line of the trees. This all needs to move up. Something's wrong. This all needs to move left, doesn't it? This must be it. We've won a special prize. <laughs> Have we? There was a blueprint among some irrelevant historical data. Mm. If you build it, we can modify Mobot to have his own personal analytics station. That sounds like a great idea. It would save us a lot of time. Let's do it then. Julia, is this data really irrelevant? I might find out what was going on if you let me look at them. I don't think so. Those are mostly routine system access logs and self-check reports. However, if you wish, I can upload them for you later. Let's build that upgrade now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the future, where all problems are solved through various mini-games. Alright, let's build an upgrade for you. Okay, oh wow, this one's a lot more complicated, but at least I kind of know how this works now. So let's see if I can actually do it on screen. Now that I'm not so confused. So we have to start from here. And we do have to have this somewhere. Let's look at our connectors, too. So I got one straight. A couple T's. Or a bunch of T's, actually. And a bunch of L's as well. So this just needs to connect to... This thing. Somewhere. Doesn't particularly matter where. Doing this seems like a good idea. Um, let. Oops, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's actually put this here. Damn it! Yeah, there we go. That's that's good. So this just needs to go up and at some point connect to this. Can do that whenever. And that needs to join back up over here. Um, no, let's replace that with this. Ooh, I'm using up a lot of these. Probably too many. Oh, 
Alright, so there's that part down. Uh, oh, I'm missing a part, aren't I? I need a squiggly. Well, there we go, that saves one connector. That thing into a squiggly. Those two things go around here. Uh, this needs to connect to one of these. This needs to go down and connect to one of these as well. Need another squiggly. Then the squiggly needs to connect to a triangle. Which needs to, con to connect to one of these thingies. And then all of that needs to connect to all of these, as well as the bottom one, apparently. I think I'm gonna have to reconfigure this, because I'm very much running out of these, uh, connectors. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. Uh, the T is actually a functional component, it is not... ...a, uh, connector. So it looks like you kinda have to have these... ...here. Alright. Anywhere else with a T? Already got one here. I guess there's supposed to be one somewhere down here. Something like that. It's kind of weird that what looks like a connector is actually technically a functional component. It even mentions it here. Um, yeah, splitter is a special tile which even if it looks like a connector is in fact a functional tile. This tile only works if all three outlets are connected. Kinda weird. Alright, this needs to connect. Um, let's put a straight piece here. Go up. Go over. Just need a bendy bit. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I. there's no way I have enough connectors left to finish this. So this needs to connect to wherever this goes. Whoops. So roughly like that. The only thing I'm missing is that I need to connect this to this. And I have absolutely no parts left to do that, so I need to reconfigure something. Um, where can I save pipes? need these. Straight away would be nice here. But then how do I connect these? I think I need this here. Yeah, I do. What if I shorten this? Like that. Yeah, it gives me a couple extra pieces to work with. Not enough, but something. Alright, I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll be right back. Well, I almost had it once. And then I tried to fix it, and I made it worse. Uh, my brain is starting to hurt. And I've been playing a lot of mini-games, so I think I'm just gonna end this episode here. When I return, I will finally solve this upgrade pattern. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.